Hi ladies, I have another little mini I'd like to share with you. And uh, this is a mini I used, um, I cut with the Sizzix, uh, let me see, it's a top note shape by Stampin' Up. And I the paper collection that I use is the Madeline by Kay and Company. And then I used um, the, the extra large yellow eyelet on each of the pages and one of the brown book rings. Just have a couple of little ribbons on the ribbons. Then uh, for the front, what I did was I used um, this little tag here. It was cut from the paper collection as well. and says Memories to Treasure. And this is some of the Prima lace. And I just added a little pearl in the center. With some Prima flower. And one of the little butterflies from the chip box. This is a chip box and it has 28 pieces, all butterflies range different sizes. Then I used some of the little leaves ribbon. And on the butterflies, what I did was I added some tiny little pearls to the butterfly. And then each of the pages is edged with the vintage photo distress ink. And on this page, I used the Sizzix, the um, scallop envelope die and used made it with the same designer paper add a little butterfly with the pearls when you open it up it has two little tags inside and it's got velcro to keep it closed then i use um tiny little prima ribbon uh, excuse me prima flowers with uh, little pearls in the center then i used the uh, same vine leaves but what i did was i cut the little leaves off and i just glued them randomly. Looks like a little spray of flowers there. On this page um, I used the Prima Lace as well and then this is cut with the uh, Sizzix French on easel frame. It's cute and then I added um, glossy accents to it and then a little butterfly with the little pearls on it as well. Then on this page this is another one of the butterflies from the little chip box Got the little pearls here, but I use I attached it to make it like a pocket. I got three little tags, tied put them together with ribbon. They're uh, sprayed with the Garden Fairy Glimmer Mist and edged with the peeled paint Distress Ink. They just slip back in there. And this one is a frame that I um, cut with the Sizzix. It's a the elegant frame. What I did with it was use the I believe it's a picket fence. Um, crackle paint, you can see that, and then it, then I sprayed it with the marshmallow glimmer mist. And by the way, each of the pages is sprayed with the gar uh, marshmallow glimmer mist as well. And then on the two butterflies, added the little pearls again. And then it's, I left this open so you can slip a photo back in there. This page, um, all I did was um, added some Prima lace, and what I did was I sprayed it with the vintage pink glimmer mist, and then I added the little butterfly here. And on this page, um, all I did was cut out the little sentiment that says the sweet memories from the the paper collection, and then I used the Tim Holtz Love Adage ticket. I edged in the vintage photo, so it's love, the sweetest memories, and it's a prim two little prima flowers with a little pearl in the center. And this is open back here, so you can slip a, a photo there. On here, this is a, a, the center of the elegant frame. Um, is this one back here? So I just took the center, covered it with some of the paper, edged the edges with the distress ink in the vintage photo. Some more of the Prima Lace, which I sprayed with the Garden Fairy Glimmer Mist. Added some pearls, and then added a little butterfly. And this one here, this is the flowers, the Sizzix Flowers die. I cut it in chipboard and then added the paper over it. Then I added a little Prima Flower, the butterfly with the pearls. And then I made these little tags using the Sizzix, let me see, scallop combo. And so there's two little tags that I cut out of the packaging from the Sizzix die. And so then I edged it with the, um, let's see, with the white paint dauber. Added a little button 
and it looks like I've, the flowers, well I got a flower on the back but the flower is actually on this side with a little pearl. Then I use some pink eyelets, the large, and put some little green ribbon on there. And then this is the larger tag. What I did on this one is I added the eyelet and painted it as well but I added a little ribbon, a strip of ribbon, and then I glued a, the little piece of paper from the collection. It says the sweet life the little flower there. And they just slip back here behind the flower which is a little pocket. Then on the back I just put my handmade by my name and February 2010. So this is my little mini. I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.